Hey everyone, Crimson Blades here. After two years in early access, Gloomhaven Digital has just announced the official full release of the campaign on October 20th. Many people bought the game in early access but haven't played in a while, while others have not bought it at all. If you are excited about the upcoming release but have questions regarding how will the campaign in digital be different and ultimately is it worth a buy, well hopefully we can help you with some of these questions today. We've played all the versions, tabletop, tabletop simulator, digital and so today we'll be going over Gloomhaven Digital, the campaign FAQ and if the time to buy is now. Since it launched in early access in 2019, there have been 12 major updates and a ton of patches to the game. Gloomhaven Digital transfers all the core mechanics of the tabletop game and automates a lot of them, namely monster movement, element infusion, rolling modifiers, dungeon setup and so on. This allows players to immerse themselves in the managing their mercenaries and engaging in strategic gameplay without having to worry about getting monster focus right or debate about line of sight. Digital makes the experience far more streamlined and fast paced. Controlling more than one mercenary is much more manageable now since you won't be encumbered by the nitty gritty. It's just a joy to throw the game on and play a whole dungeon solo in 15 minutes without needing to look for a group. So it's great for solo Gloomhaven players. Co-op is amazing and a ton of fun. It's stable and easy to set up through Steam, Discord or simply by sharing your code with other players. Playing co-op multiplayer is absolutely a joy because we get to focus on strategy and gameplay due to the complete automation. For new players wanting to get into the world of Gloomhaven, either if you've never played before or if you've played Jaws of the Lion on tabletop and are wondering if you should get into Gloomhaven base game, Gloomhaven Digital is a fantastic option. With its extremely reasonable price tag, it's an excellent budget option to assess the game before deciding if you want to go for the tabletop version. You'll get everything in the box here in digital, with the added benefit of being able to focus 100% on the dungeon crawl, hand management, combat strategy, and everything else which makes Gloomhaven fun, rather than be encumbered by the setup time, takedown, summon movement, monster mechanics, etc. You'll still need to know how all that stuff works in order to plan around them and plan for them, but that's where Gloomhaven Digital's excellent tutorial system consisting of a series of puzzle encounters come in. If you're new, Digital will walk you through a very robust tutorial which will get you dungeoneering in no time. The only way to get good at Gloomhaven is playing lots of dungeons and experimenting with different cards and party compositions. And the speed and ease of setting up a dungeon run in Digital really makes this the best introduction to Gloomhaven gamers could ask for. If playing physical tabletop is not possible due to safety and difficult times we are in, then Gloomhaven Digital is a no-brainer. It improves on every aspect of playing Gloomhaven online. The presentation is amazing, the automation in digital is leaps and bounds better compared to TTS, and Tabletop Simulator as a program is hard for some people to use who are not savvy with gaming in general. The digital edition is easy to use and much faster to get into, and is definitely the best version of Gloomhaven on a computer. As we mentioned earlier, there's been a ton of changes to the game over the last two years. Guildmaster mode as it stands now is a digital exclusive sandbox campaign mode. In this mode, you'll manage all the mercenaries as a roster or a squad, picking different party compositions for different missions. There is an overarching campaign which allows you to unlock items, unique relic quests for artifacts and individual storylines for each and every mercenary, with each one having their own series of missions and boss fights. Guildmaster also has a very robust achievement system which encourages you to use cards you would otherwise never use in the campaign and is a real goldmine for unlocking the full potential of Gloomhaven as a game by encouraging crazy amounts of experimentation. I myself was able to play with some classes which I barely got enough time with in the tabletop version to such an extent that I could really appreciate them. And the fact they are job quests, which are these quick arcade style dungeons where you could get your Gloomhaven fix in under 20 minutes is just fantastic. Guildmaster mode is available right now and your save files will carry over to the full launch a month from now so if you wanted to start playing you could right now. The biggest drawbacks which we see in forums against the game are bugs and the lack of the tabletop campaign mode. Regarding bugs, with as many mercenaries as they are available and considering how complex some of the card interactions are, having some bugs is normal. I feel that the number of bugs in Gloomhaven which people cite has been overinflated. In our hundreds of hours of gameplay, there were only a handful of times we encountered bugs which made a difference to the gameplay. Most of them are very minor and whenever we reported them, the amazing dev team has worked diligently and speedily to fix them through patches. The dev team is extremely active on the digital discord and steam and have regularly updated and patched these bugs out. 
big games have bugs. This is not something new. You're not going to see anywhere near the number of bugs that you would in your typical AAA release from certain publishers. There are a few kinks to iron out, but trust us, they are very minor and are getting fixed on time and effectively. The devs have kept their word and stayed on schedule even over everything that's gone on over the last two years. And that degree of dedication really shines through when you see how few bugs there are now. Chances are that if you bought this a while ago but haven't picked it up in a while, Gloomhaven Digital is a very different game from where you left off. Minor bugs should not be a reason for you to miss out on this experience. The Gloomhaven campaign will deliver the tabletop storyline and complete Gloomhaven Digital as a whole by providing the full experience. There will be 250 plus missions in the game shared between Guildmaster and campaign modes with over 200 plus hours of possible gameplay. This should make anyone who enjoys Gloomhaven excited. We'll go over some of the most frequently asked questions now regarding the campaign based on what the developers have put out. How different is Gloomhaven Digital from the original board game? Keep in mind that the differences remain very minor and Digital is a very faithful adaptation of the original gameplay and design. Every difference implemented in Digital was closely discussed and custom tailored together with Isaac Childress. Will I need to buy the game again if I already have the early access version? No you will not. There will just be an update on launch. Is there any way to bring the progress of the board game campaign into the digital version? No, there's currently no way of doing that. It would be possible to do so by creating a mod but that would require a lot of effort. Digital scenarios are much faster than playing tabletop and restarting generally is going to be the better option. Will Gloomhaven be released on other platforms? Currently Gloomhaven will be available at launch on Steam, GOG and supported both on PC and Macs. Their main focus is to make sure the game is absolutely the best it can be on these platforms before turning on to consoles and other um, anything else. What are some of the very specific changes compared to the board game? In terms of abilities, a Tinkerous level 9 card, Chimeric formula, the bottom ability is different. Uh, for reasons of testing, attack modifier decks, bosses and allied monsters have separate modifier decks to the rest of the monsters. Enemy and summon movement is automated, so there's going to be no player choice for ambiguous movement. Envelope X, it's not in the game. Can you reset a mercenary? You can reset a mercenary in Guildmaster and we've actually talked about this before, but like the tabletop version, you won't be able to reset your mercenary in campaign mode. What will be the price of the game at launch? Why is it more expensive than the early access? Well, since the launch of Gloomhaven's early access, there's been a ton of added content. And with all these new content, including the, the Guildmaster mode, the online co-op, and the full campaign, Gloomhaven Digital's value has increased. So it's a very fair price increase, about $10. That is not to say that you can't get it now for the lower price and the question is, should you wait or buy it now? So, having played through all iterations of the game, we wholeheartedly support getting it now. Especially if you're a new player, if you're coming in from Jaws of the Lion or used to Tabletop Simulator, you should definitely get Gloomhaven Digital. It's a whole new experience, smoother, streamlined and packs hours upon hours of solo or co-op fun. You'll experience and explore all 17 mercenaries to a degree like you never had before and discover the full potential of a game that's been locked away from you if you've only been playing the tabletop version. The changes are minor, the bugs are minor, and the price will be going up in a month. Not by a lot, but still. So take the entire Gloomhaven experience into your hands for an affordable price. We have no affiliation with Asmodee, Flaming Fowl or Cephalofare games and we wouldn't be supporting this game if we didn't believe in it and I had a ton of fun playing hundreds of hours on it. So our final recommendation is to go out and get this game because you're going to have a blast. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave us a like and subscribe. We'll be putting out gameplay videos and guides in the run up to the launch. And as a small channel, we really appreciate your support. Take care and see you next time.